it sounds really crazy and it probably is <laughs> and it's really dangerous times where I've been really upset and times where I've had rough days I have written down what I feel and this is just a simple list it's not like edited nicely written or anything like that I've just kind of jot down like what I feel at the moment so I'm just gonna read it through just like it is and yeah that's it not being gentle with Leon feeling like I'm in a bubble and disconnected from the world crying or want to cry all the time feelings of just wanting to go or walk away frustrated frustrated and mad when things don't go my way don't pay attention to what's going on around me leaving him like i leave a shopping cart i can leave him somewhere and not really care um kind of like i'm going shopping with a shopping cart and i put the shopping cart by the milk when i'm going back to get the juice over there and not really caring that it's a stroller with a baby in it it's not a shopping cart he annoys me don't feel any feelings like don't feel any feelings of love being rough with him feelings of rage irritation and that i just want to scream lonely and feeling bad for leon to love everybody else more than he loves me what's wrong with this person who wrote those things not feeling love towards anyone forgetful super distracted can't make decisions not even what kind of milk to buy feeling in a fog when walking or driving automated and don't care if something would happen sometimes when i'm driving i feel in a fog and i feel that like everything is just going on next to me and in front of me and behind me whereas i don't have like the perception of what like it's a reality like i feel like i'm dreaming it and so since i'm dreaming it it's not reality so if something happens it's not a big deal it sounds really crazy and it probably is <laughs> and it's really dangerous the only things that i look forward to is having coffee <laughs> and sleep i don't have any set schedule for anything i don't have any routine I barely brush my teeth, can go days without showering. So days like this, days like today where I feel on the top of the world. Of course, I don't have any problem with all of these things. I brush my teeth this morning, I took a shower, I put makeup on, like I do all of those things. The days where I don't feel like this, I just cannot seem to get him in a routine or myself for that matter. So, okay, moving on. <laughs> feel satisfaction when eating unhealthy stuff but don't enjoy healthy foods that i always used to do before so this is a big thing and this is a big warning sign for me lately i've been feeling like the only thing that i look forward to is when i get to eat i have about 25 to 30 pounds to lose and obviously i'm not losing it because the only thing that makes me happy and that, that makes me feel satisfied is when i'm about to go somewhere to eat or when i'm about to eat something sweet like i'm like addicted to sweets and i have never ever been like that like a lot of bad stuff like a lot of sugary stuff a lot of fatty stuff like i have cream heavy cream in my coffee and i cannot stop like and i look forward to that cup of coffee so bad every single day every single morning that is what makes me happy feeling that i will never get my body in shape again and at the same time i'm like oh i don't care because i just have a, this care careless feeling right now about myself so it's a lot of mixed emotions but don't feel like i have the energy to go to the gym anger towards other moms that i see on instagram facebook happy pictures my life isn't good enough like, i need to be like that i feel regret resentment towards other people I have a hard time having a normal conversation like i don't like talking i don't like having conversations and i just get so mad that i start crying and walking away 
like a kid, like a child. Um, feelings of shame. I find myself sitting and staring um, and just staring blank. Very vivid dreams. I have vivid dreams in um, terms of I can dream and it feels very real and I have especially have a lot of dreams about my childhood. And then I just wrote down meh. <laughs> meh. Alone, lying, I want to shop all the time. And that's one thing, I've always loved shopping, but like not to the point where I'm like, you know, just feel like the urge to just walk, to just walk around there. Like, I, I, I don't know. Want to shop all the time, makes me happy to shop. And then I feel bad after because I shop things that I don't need. Now when we're trying to save money and work on our business, I feel bad because I I sometimes shop something and then I keep that I keep that from my husband knowing that I shouldn't have bought that. The only thing that gets me excited is to shop. No sex drive. Um don't care and I feel asexual. That's one thing I've never had a problem with and now i just i don't care like i could live without sex like i really don't care don't recognize my body anymore like to put myself over others and know it all and that's a very contradiction contradictionary contradictive very contra whatever that word is very contradictionary controversial yeah whatever what i mean is this is very opposite to all the other things that i'm feeling about myself we're sort of all very negative and low self-esteem sometimes i feel like i'm just like on top of the world don't want help or don't want to ask for help i have a hard time asking for help period don't trust others intentions i think that everybody wants me bad feeling like a failure don't feel genuine or things I say don't feel sincere. I feel like a fake person. I feel like something is gonna, like my bubble is gonna burst. Like I feel like the shell is gonna come off. The smiling person is gonna come off and I'm just gonna go and do something stupid. These are the, these are very raw feelings. Like I wrote this down. I just jawed this down. See how it looks like. It's not nicely written. Um, these are just things that I've just jot down when I'm in the darkest dark. Feeling that it actually didn't happen. That he did not come out of me. I want to relive the birth experience over and over and over again. And never get out of there. I want to go back in time till those three days I was in the hospital. And I want to relive those three days and that experience. Because I felt so good. That's the end of my list. I have more that I probably should add to that list, but I haven't written down. I mean, it's just real. Like, I'm just starting to, like, acknowledge these feelings in myself and, like, the fact that I feel these feelings. And, like, yeah, I'm ashamed of it. But at the same time, I'm like, so what? If it's only me that are feeling this way, so be it. If this helps me recover, because, like, I don't... I cannot live like this. I cannot raise this beautiful human being thinking and acting like this i cannot i need help so that's why i'm doing this that's why i'm posting this video i'm doing it as part of my recovery to become healthy again so i can be the best mother for this little boy He's like, stop talking, mommy. When I say I'm a mom, I feel like I'm dreaming or I feel like it's somebody else's life or I, I feel like he's somebody else's kid. I'm so glad I'm feeling well this very moment when I'm recording this because that means that I could actually get through this without crying. I have days like this where... I 
simply just feel <laughs> good and i feel like those days are golden but they should be more often there should be more days like this and right now it's about and right now the way i feel is that these days like today are about 10 percent the 90 percent that is left are the bad days so i want to reverse that so that i have 90 percent good days and 10 percent bad days because i realize too that nobody's perfect nobody has a hundred percent good days a hundred percent great days where they're just sitting and smiling and hugging their baby and just feel good all the time like that's not this is not how the world works like we have bad days and we have good days but when the majority of your days are filled with sadness and crying and feelings of hopelessness and and here i am babbling about how good my day is and how great i feel right now and 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 that i wasn't gonna cry and that i feel strong today and i do i really do and i said i'm not gonna cry because i don't feel like crying but just talking about this makes me, it makes me emotional. I'm just really determined to get well. And like, like I said, just admitting that I have these feelings and these issues right now, uh, it's a big step. And so, yeah. That is pretty much it for this video. I didn't know when I pushed that record button that I was going to talk about all of these things. I knew that I wanted to just talk a little bit about how I feel right now going through this journey, but I did not know that I was gonna share that much personal things that I did but the thing is is that i feel pretty okay <laughs> doing that so i might just continue doing that if you are that one person out there who recognize one two or maybe three or maybe nothing on that list but have similar feelings that you're feeling going through similar things right now experiences and you want to connect leave a comment or send me a private message you know there's day like this when you feel like you could talk to somebody about this and be totally open and then there's days where you don't want to talk to anybody yeah i just want to spread this message i just want to i don't want to go through this alone i i really don't want to go through this alone that's the bottom line i know i'm not alone i feel like i'm alone but i know that i am not alone i know that there's at least one other person out there one more mama out there that is feeling similar feelings and so if you are that person i just want to say you're strong you're beautiful you're a great mom we're working on being able to say that to ourselves right I hope that I'm going to be able to make more uh, more updates and share more about my, my journey both as a new mom to this beautiful boy and, but also about my journey in becoming healthy from this postpartum depression. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye.